Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has temporarily blocked the subpoena, which would force Republican Senator Lindsey Graham to have to testify in Georgia in that 2020 election fraud, election fraud investigation. Why is this notable? Well, it's notable because Clarence Thomas is married to Ginny Thomas and Ginny Thomas is an extraordinarily prominent election denier who was in touch with all sorts of folks involved with the January 6th insurrection in no sensible uh, country on no sensible planet in no logical universe. Would Clarence Thomas be able to make decisions related to anybody and anything connected with that election? And indeed, that is what is going on. CNBC reports Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas temporarily blocks Senator Graham's subpoena from Georgia grand jury. Remember, Georgia is the state in which Donald Trump said, I need 11,000 votes. Give me a break. Try to coerce Florida. I'm sorry, Georgia officials um, into finding the votes that he needed in order to win that state. And I know that we are days away from the 2022 midterms. But yes, this was all in the 2020 presidential election. The CNBC article adding. Uh, The Fulton County Grand Jury investigating possible criminal interference in the 2020 election in the state by former President Trump and allies, including Graham. Trump had pressured Georgia's top election officials to find him enough votes to overturn the win by Joe Biden. A federal appeals court last week refused a request by Graham to delay the subpoena. How on earth is Clarence Thomas still allowed to rule on anything even remotely related to the 2020 election? Never mind this particular case. The husband of a major denier of the actual results of that election, arguably Ginny Thomas, what do we call her? A January sixer. I think that is probably the most logical uh, uh, term to use. He has the ability to block a subpoena related to the very lies perpetrated, which deny the validity of Georgia's election, which his wife was doing utterly absurd. Then as far as Lindsey Graham goes, have we seen anyone short of Donald Trump himself work this hard not to testify? Now, I'm going to say something and we have to take it in context. What happened to if you're innocent, you have nothing to worry about. Now, listen, I understand and I know many of you understand that it makes sense to get a lawyer if you can afford one. Of course, I I would also uh, take uh, a lawyer's advice. And if it made sense to try not to testify or to plead the fifth, of course, I would do it. But it is this very same right wing that has insisted previously If you're innocent, you should have nothing to hide. You should have no reason to plead the fifth. You should have no reason to try to ignore or get out of responding to a subpoena. It is they who have made that case all along. And it is those very same people who are taking a different approach now when it comes to them. We saw the Trumps, including Donald Trump himself, plead the fifth in a number of different depositions and in different circumstances. When it was Trump who said the mob pleads the fifth. You don't need to do that if you're innocent. All of Hillary's people who pled the fifth clearly are guilty because pleading the fifth is a sign of guilt. Now they're doing it. Uh, And so, of course, reasonable people understand you get the most competent counsel you can to represent you, the most competent counsel you can find or can afford. There's no question about that. But they are the ones who have been saying, listen, when people don't have anything to hide, you just show up. You say what you know, and that's it. Now, if you confront them with that now, they would say, no, no, no. But, sir, that applies in normal situations. These are partisan witch hunts meant to get around the uh, 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 proper use of the justice system to weaponize that very just. And so these are extenuating circumstances where, of course, if this was a normal situation, we would just testify. We would never plead the fifth. They will always have such an excuse. But understand, at the end of the day, they are hypocrites. All of their principles, small government, uh, less regulation, allowing states to make decisions, just showing up and cooperating with law enforcement. 
All of those things are only principles they state when it is convenient for them. It's now inconvenient. And now Clarence Thomas helping out Lindsey Graham, albeit potentially only temporarily. 